Hello Highlands! Bananas are very useful materials in Breath of the Wild. You can use them for dishes or even against enemies, or you can just collect them. I'm Nico, and today we'll learn the great uses for them and of course where to find them. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, and if you want more Zelda content, I hope you subscribe or at least check out the channel. There are many places to get bananas, like killing Yigas, but there are three that I find easiest. First, in the Yiga clan hideout. From the entrance, once you're in the hideout, right after the first room, there's a ladder. Climb up and you should find lots of them. There are some bananas all around the hideout and in total, you should find under 30. The next place is in the Farron region, just south of the lakeside stable up on Ubota Point. You can probably go to the Farron Tower and just jump south. Use the sensor of course, and you can probably get about 80 bananas. The last method is the fastest way to get bananas, wow. but you have to have lots of rupees. If you want lots of rupees, you can of course check the card in the corner or the link in the description for my video on the best rupee methods. There are two travelers that sell you overpriced bananas for 99 rupees, and you can buy 99 of them. Whether or not you buy from them, they will not really surprise you that they are Yiga. Since they are enemies, they will respawn after our blood moon. Even if you don't kill them, you have to wait for another blood moon. You can't buy them, teleport back, and buy more. They are located at the fork on the road in the valley east of Lake Floria and along the path north of the Lanero wetlands. Bananas are great because they're easy to find and they can easily get you level 3 attack when cooked. Each one will give you 50 seconds, and you need 4 for a level 3 attack. If you want to save bananas, you can cook 3 and the 4th material can be any material with the word mighty in its name. But since they're easy to find, it doesn't really matter. As a side note, of course cooking them with a dragon horn will get you a 30 minute level 3 attack dish. Check the card in the corner and the link in the description for how to easily get dragon horns. And the other way to use bananas is when you're going to the Yiga hideout for the first time and you're trying to sneak through. You can drop a banana and if a Yiga sees it, he will run to it. You can use this to distract them and help you sneak around. There is one more enemy that you can use bananas with, but I don't want to spoil it when the time comes. That's everything I know on bananas. I hope you find this useful, I hope you like it, give it a thumbs up if you do so, and if you want more Zelda content, you can always subscribe, support the channel, or at least check out the channel. See you next time!